Hey guys, it's Randy and I'm back with another video. This video is going to cover my 2021 planner and journal lineup. Um, I have seven and a half planners and journals to show you. It's a lot, but I'm really excited for it. I'm really excited to share this with you guys. And yeah, let's just get started. In this pile, I have my planners. Um, well, two planners and my wallet. This is the half in the seven and a half. This pile has my pen only, for my eyes only for the most part, uh, journals. And then these are my decorative journals, my sticker planners, memory keepers, business tools, that kind of stuff. This pile has the part of my system that keeps me organized. This pile has the stuff that keeps me sane. And this pile has the stuff that keeps me happy. And together it makes my planning and journaling system. So I'm going to put these off to the side and talk about each individual thing, but I'm gonna have these kind of in view still so you can see where I'm pulling from and what part of my system um, each thing is from. So this is the half in the seven and a half. This is my wallet. Yes, it's a planner. It does have planning aspects to it, but I just consider this my wallet and I'll actually have a video on this um, up after this video is uploaded. So yeah, it's my wallet and it's a Filofax Finsbury, the mini size. Next in my planner stack, I have my pocket rings. This is a pocket VDS. Um, it's the Touch Me Leather in the color Noir. I absolutely love this. It has 25 millimeter rings, which is, th this is like <laughs> way bigger than I'm used to, but I really love it. Um, I'm going to have a separate video on this planner as well, just because there's kind of a lot to it. Um, there's five main sections in this planner. Um, plans, personal, work, home, and reference, or miscellaneous slash reference so yeah I can fit a lot in here it does hold a lot it's like a really good snapshot of every aspect of my life so that's what's in here and I guess I would consider this my everyday carry my main planner um, something that I refer to every single day I do all kinds of stuff in here so that's one of my planners and my second planner in my system is this B6 um, 2282 from Nolte. This is my work planner and I just, I use it for work. If you didn't know, I have a sticker shop and I also have a Patreon and I consider that to be part of my work, content creating, stuff like that. Um, it has a monthly view that looks like this and I will just write out all of the plans that I have for Patreon and then all of the releases that I want to have for the shop for that month, as well as holidays and things that might affect my schedule. So all of that will go in the monthly view. And this is what the weekly view looks like. Actually, I think it'll help if I go to one that's filled out. Here's a look at the weekly view. And this is pretty much perfect for what I need for work. There's a small um, vertical weekly section at the top here and the way that I break this down is either the top is for personal things that affect my work schedule. For example, where we had maintenance on our fireplace done, so um, that meant that I had to work in a room that wasn't my usual workplace. So wrote that down and then if this is for personal stuff, the bottom row is for my work stuff so like um different things I want to work on for the shop shop closure stuff like that another way that I use this is the top will be Etsy specific things and then the bottom will be Patreon specific things and the feature that I really liked for this weekly planner in particular was that there was this huge space that was just um gridded and this is really great for lists and notes and that's exactly what I need for planning that that keeps me from needing a daily planner because I feel like if I had a daily planner for work a lot of pages would go unused because I don't need all that space all the time like sometimes I'm just just 
using the machines and cutting stuff and that's just what I do the whole day and I don't really need to have a whole page dedicated for that but for this I can use the space for whatever I need for whatever lists or notes I need to jot down so like for this week I was getting ready for Thanksgiving so I wanted to have um, a $2 Tuesday before then this is what I chose for what I wanted to do I did mixed Christmas movie titles and so I wrote all of them down made sure I got all of them and then I designed them and stuff and these were other sheets that I wanted to include in $2 Tuesday and then I was working on some transparent sheets and then I was working on Patreon stuff and converting our sticker kits to journaling kits and just I didn't need to go into that much detail but basically this layout's perfect I love all of the space for writing and it helps that there's a weekly section already in here so I don't have to have like a small weekly and a separate notebook because I could have just done this in like astrology but I I like that it has both views in one and a monthly and this planner actually comes with a journal in the back that's grid ruled and if I need the extra space on any given day I can just put a timeline on the side and then map out my day as I need to um, and this is really great because again it's all in one place I don't need to waste any pages in a daily planner yeah I love it and um, I do have separate pens for every planner that I have and journal for the most part so there's one in here separate one for this planner my wallet has one and you'll see that like my other ones have one too so yeah these are my planners these are what keep me organized and without these um I I, I, I don't know I guess I wouldn't be a planner so so my planners next we have my journals these are pen only journals and these things are what keep me sane keep my head on straight for the most part I get really overwhelmed pretty easily I'm a very emotional person I I tend to bottle things so it just really helps to be able to decompress in some way and I found that journaling really helps when I'm consistent with journaling and it's a regular thing in my routine I'm just a better happier person when I I'm not doing it consistently I do suffer quite a bit so um I just wanted to go into 2021 with a set journaling system I'll start with this one this is a making memory daily planner this is the small size it's a b6 this thing is chunky but I'm so excited for it I love it I I don't usually have chunky planners um so this is really exciting and in here I'm just doing my daily morning journaling or if I don't have time to journal in the morning I'll do it at night and to show you this planner it is a planner so like it comes with a monthly I don't think I'm going to use this if I do I can update you guys but I mainly have it for the daily pages and I really like this layout because it's just lines, it's dated, there's no timeline, the page isn't divided into random, or I guess not random, sections. It's just lined with a date. I really like that. I could have used just a notebook or astrology, but I really wanted this thing to be dated and to have the whole year in it, and that's what this has, and it's great. I've mentioned the seven minute morning journaling prompt on my channel before but just in case you don't know this is a guided journaling prompt from books of notes I can link their Instagram in the description box so I'm going to try to do this every morning or two for two here looking good but in case I don't get to journaling in the morning I do have the gentle daily review again from books of notes I do plan on journaling every day I think it'll have days start on a better note than they would have without it or you know if I don't get to it then maybe I can wrap up a stressful day with this and then we have what I'm calling my 2021 log this is a hand stitched leather tee tan cover there's strings inside but I only have one to two books in this at a time and it slips into the back pocket so that's what I have in here um, this main notebook that I'm using as my log is the Nolte 6501. This planner is becoming very popular in the planner community and I, I love it so yeah I, I totally get why. 
It has a monthly. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with the monthly um, yet. I might do budgeting in here, but I don't know. We'll see. But just like um, my daily, I did buy this just for the weekly section. Last year, um, for my 2020 log, I was using the Moterm inserts, the, week, the vertical weekly inserts that resemble the Traveler's Company um, inserts. And I like those, but the year was broken up into two journals and it was just really easy for me to fall off of those. Also, I wasn't super committed, but this year I am totally committed to filling out this notebook um, and logging everything that happens for the year. So this is what the weekly looks like. And just to show you how I use this, um, at the very top I write my highlight of the day and then I have my breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Over here I have my home tasks and my personal things and then I just write down everything that happens during the day. Sometimes I just write down what happens, like you know, we didn't have coffee, I worked. I don't put in the details of work. Sometimes I do if it's like a really big, cool thing, like I finished all of our Patreon kits or something, but sometimes it'll just be work. It's a daily log, but it's also an opportunity to journal if I want to, so I can have little blurbs like this, or if I miss a couple days, I can just do like a larger um, entry. It might seem kind of redundant to have this kind of thing in my system since I do have a planner, I have a work planner, I'm constantly writing in things, but this is my one place, well, other than this one, my one place during the day where I will put pen to paper and if I have something, a feeling that's big or small just to write down really quick, then I'll put it in here. And I do want to stick to this to be able to archive 2021. I haven't been able to do that with any of my systems so far, so hopefully this sticks. Um, I also have this square grid insert in the back here. This was supposed to be for December dailies, but this literally only lasts for a week. I'm just going to keep this in here though, just in case I want to do some decorative journaling in here. And that is it for my journals, um, my pen only journals. I'm really excited for these. And then lastly, we have my decorative journals, my sticker planners, memory keepers, whatever you want to call them. There are three because I, I guess I have three different like stickering styles, planning styles, journaling styles. And I thought it would just be best to have them in separate notebooks. So this one is new. I don't think, yeah, I haven't shown this one yet. Um, this is a Target planner and it's from Cupcakes and Cashmere, partnered with Blue Sky. And this reminds me of my May Designs um, TN that I had in 2019 and I, was it 2019? Two, nope, 2018 and I was obsessed with that planner. I loved it so much and that was the last time that I was ever super consistent in a planner. I stayed in that thing for six months and then, and then I strayed. But um, yeah, this is what the monthly looks like. I plan on using this for my monthly highlight spreads. It's like how I used to do with stickers and little blurbs. And then in the weeklies, I'm going to do minimal decorative planning. So for my Patreon, we have a tier called the Jelly Filled tier. And in that tier, you get a set of minimal functional stickers like this for the month. And I thought that these would look really good in this kind of layout. I mean, they'll look good in any kind of planner, but especially in this one, this is what I would want to use in here. Um, in conjunction with like icon stickers from other shops, character stickers and stuff like that, and maybe using some other decorative things, but for the most part using the sticker kit. So I also mentioned that this is kind of like a business tool. It is to promote some of my stuff, but it's kind of an outlet for me to put stickers on paper and just kind of map out my week in this kind of way. I thought it'd be fun to have a separate notebook for this, so that's what this is. And then we have this. This is a B6 coil planner from Compressions. 
Um, it's a 12 month planner, all undated, which is really nice. There is a monthly and the weeklies are just vertical weeklies. This is so fun for me, so nostalgic. This is what got me into creative planning and decorative planning was this vertical layout. And I'm really excited to be back into this because I just love the spreads that come out of this. So like this kit is from Scribble Prince Co. This is from Hey Soul Sticker. This is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And I do have a tier that includes um, planner stickers like this to create a vertical spread or I guess horizontal too. Um, just a sticker spread like this for your planner. And I can put those in here and take photos of them. Yeah, I just, I love being in this. Earlier I mentioned that this stack of planners or journals um, is what keeps me happy. That's what this contributes to my system and it's true, it brings me back to feeling like this is a hobby. It is like part of my work now, but I, I just love this and I get so happy when I get to put stickers onto paper, which I could do in my regular planners, but I want to save it for this so that it, it feels like a hobby, my crafting hobby. So that's this planner or journal and um, the wording so confusing because this is a planner but I use it as a journal and this charm is from Fox and Pip by the way. And then the last journal in this stack is this Artist Lofts journal from Michaels. I've shown this a few times. It used to be where I did my vertical spreads like this um, because I miss doing that. I always miss it when I like just do no sticker planning. I'm always itching to, to go back. But then in August, I changed the way that we do our um, sticker kits. So then I started using this as like a decorative bullet journal. So, so we have the Mochi Donut sticker kits in here, as well as some stickers from the digital kit printed out. And I'm really bad at taking pictures of these spreads. Hopefully I get better, but yeah, just to give you an idea of what this planner and the spreads look like, or this journal and the spreads look like, um, it's a decorative bullet journal. And I really want to keep a bullet journal for myself, but that's just, that's just not where I'm at in life right now. Um, I like to have it as like an after the fact thing. I wouldn't be able to use it super functionally while having so many other planners here. Oh, I forgot to do a little collective wiggle of my decorative journals, but that's what these are. And yeah, that is, um, that's my lineup for 2021. I am really, really excited to be using all of these, just going in head first. Is that the phrase? I don't know, I don't swim. Um, but to have all of these up front and using them, hopefully I can complete the whole year with these. I don't really plan on getting any more planners or journals. Don't quote me on that. It's always changing. Oh, forgot my half. There we go. My seven and a half planners and journals for 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed my rambling. Um, let us know in the comments down below what you plan on using for 2021. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, yeah, all that stuff. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye!